This is called, But Enough About Me. <laughs> Hello. Hey, hi. I just walked in. Just give me one sec to put my stuff down. Okay, I'm back. I've been thinking about you. How the heck are you? I'm so glad you called. Been meaning to call you, but it's just been madness around here. In fact, I do want to catch up, but I've got to warn you, I'm toast. Totally burnt beyond exhaustion. <laughs> There's nothing left in the tank. The past two days have been intense, pure craziness. So let's talk for a couple of minutes, let's make a plan to get together, and then I'm going to drop because I'm totally burnt out. The past 48 hours have really done me in. What? You really want to hear? It's not very interesting, but I'll tell you if you really want to know. Okay, so two nights ago I'm in my favorite casino in Monte Carlo. Actually, casino isn't exactly the right word, it's more a private gambling club. Not open to the public, you have to be a member. And the annual dues are steep, but it's where I like to play. It's civilized, quiet, sedate. No racket of slot machines, no busloads of day-tripping retirees. When I play, that's how I'd like to do it. So anyway, I'm at the Chemin de Fer table, and I'm way ahead. In fact, I've got enough to buy that townhouse in the West Village that I've had my eye on. Yes, Grove Street, that one. So anyway, long story short, my cell phone goes off, and I've got to go, so I bank my winnings. Next thing I know, I'm in the fight of my life, in a hot air balloon against this enormous bruiser with a shaved head and nothing between his ears except more muscle. Every time I land a blow, he just grins, and I feel like I've just punched a brick wall. He's taking everything I've got, and he just keeps smiling at me. At one point, he catches my fist in one of his gigantic paws and starts to squeeze. I actually feel the bones in my hand start to fracture, and it's only a sharp kick to his family jewels that make him let go. <laughs> To make matters worse, there's a bomb set to go off in the balloon, and I can see the timer rapidly moving to zero. Now, this lunkhead is so dumb, he doesn't care whether he lives or dies, just so long as I get killed. Me? I'm just the opposite. I'm totally indifferent to his continued existence, but care very much about my own survival. Finally, I manage to deck him with a swift uppercut, and the back of his head slams against a post. He goes down like a sack of potatoes. No insult to the intelligence of your average sack of potatoes intended. I jump out of the balloon literally nanoseconds before the bomb goes off. I mean, I actually feel the force of the blast and the heat. That's when I pulled the ripcord that converts the cummerbund of my tuxedo into a parachute, and I'm picked up by a Royal Navy submarine in the North Sea. From there, it's a sweet cruise to one of Her Majesty's aircraft carriers, and from there, it's a Harrier jump jet to Kennedy, and from there, it's one of our own good old U.S. Navy helicopters to my roof in the East Village, which it turns out cannot accommodate a Black Hawk, so I've got to do the rope ladder thing, which I hate. It always leaves me feeling unsteady. So I let myself into my apartment. All I'm thinking about is opening a bottle of wine, making some dinner, vegging out in front of the TV, and then getting in some serious sack time. And then my phone rings. I shouldn't have picked up, but at this point I'm kind of on autopilot. It's James Levine, musical director of the Metropolitan Opera. <laughs> He's in a panic. It's his gala night. He's got a house full of his biggest donors, people who every year contribute minimum 100 grand, most of them a hell of a lot more. His Rodolfo has laryngitis, and the understudy apparently has a serious substance abuse problem as he's nowhere to be found. Freaking guy hasn't even asked me. He's already sent a wardrobe and makeup trailer with police escort to my place. I tell him I haven't done Bohem in years. He doesn't care. He's near hysteria. He's promising everything. The moon, his wife, his daughters practically. He'll commission an opera based on my life. The dude's totally out of control. I'm already hearing the sirens approach my building. What am I going to do? You've known me long enough to know I'm not going to let the Met down. In the trailer, while the makeup gal's doing her thing, I'm running scales, I'm looking over the libretto. I'm trying to do in 15 minutes what you should do in five weeks of rehearsal. So, I went on. What can I tell you? Do I think I was in my best voice? Hardly. But they seemed to enjoy it. I got 12 curtain calls. After the seventh, they all stood up and started chanting in unison, bravo, bravo, bravo. Only possible explanation is that since our Luciano passed away, standards have declined. <laughs> you ever try catching a cab outside Lincoln Center right after the Mets let out? I got lucky. I just walk in the door and you call. So anyway, enough about me. What's new in your life?